Now, it's been almost a year since the deadly Boxburg explosion. A tanker became stuck under a bridge near the Tambo Memorial Hospital and exploded, killing 41 people. In the weeks that followed, there was an arrest and a court appearance, but there haven't been any convictions. Let's find out. Uh, I'm joined by a forensic expert and legal consultant Stan Pizadenhout. Uh, Stan, thank you so much for your time. Now, this tragic incident led to the conversations about the safety of carrying hazardous uh, materials on dangerous roads in the country, etc. Uh, has anything changed in this industry uh, with regards to that conversation? I say, firstly, hi and uh, hello to your listeners and your viewers. So, yes, um, there have been some changes. During uh, 2023, I've actually spoken at several conferences, including the Road Freight Association conference and specifically. Uh, an event with the LP Gas Association, with other countries even getting engaged in it. As far as the LP Gas Association is concerned, or that industry is concerned, there was a huge push towards improvement. Uh, most people approached me to be able to learn from the incident, to ask me for guidance on how they can change and improve methods, processes, procedures and protocols to make the roads and specifically the product transport more you know, safer. But I must admit, I haven't seen much of a shift from the rest of the transport industry. During the years leading up to this horrible tra tragedy, I was quite engaged by the commercial sector, and it was kind of common cause for there to be prot protocols in place where any serious or major collision is immediately investigated by somebody like me. I have found that there has been a decline in this, 